Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Neil. If you've not been here before, please do not forget to subscribe before you leave. Today we are checking out the Black Star Travel Guitar and we're going to see if this thing sounds any good. I've dropped this guitar down to drop D tuning, so everything is in standard apart from the low E, which I've dropped down to D. Now, what I will say is, even on a regular scale guitar, when you go to drop tuning, you should always put a thicker um, string, you know, thicker string gauge on that low E, or should I say low D. I haven't on this guitar, I've used the standard strings. When you have a short scale guitar, which this obviously is, it's very short, and you drop tuning as well, you're more prone to the guitar going out of tune. Not actually going out of tune, but when you strike the note, because there's a lot of movement in the string, you know, on the initial attack of the note at first, it does go out of tune just a touch, especially with me because I pick so hard. Now, what I will say is that when this guitar is in standard tuning, it stays in tune really, really well. I've tried quite a lot of travel guitars in the past. I think this is my third or fourth one now. And what I will say is that this guitar stays in tune better than all the others. It really does stay in tune really well in standard tuning. This guitar, by the way, for those of you that didn't see the unboxing, it says on the back here, designed in the UK by Blackstar and Gordon Smith Guitars. Now, that's why it looks the way it does if Gordon Smith have had um, a hand in the design of the guitar. Obviously, it's not a metal guitar. I really hope that Blackstar amplification um, go into guitar production proper guitar production, you know, maybe bring out um, a super strap and a Les Paul style shaped guitar to start with, see how they sell, see how they go. They already have pedals, they already have amps, you know, they already have cables. So it makes sense to me to go into guitars as well. This guitar is really, really well made. I was actually really shocked on the quality of the guitar and it's very intricate, you know, the attention to detail. Obviously, it's not my style of guitar, it's not a metal guitar, but that's not the point. The guitar still is really well made. Intricate details like the edge of the binding there, don't know if you can see that. Um, the neck also is really comfortable to take the short scale guitar, it really is pretty comfortable in your hands. Also, like I said, in standard tune, the guitar stays in tune pretty fine. I have to do, in my opinion, on this demo, what I always do on all my demos. So I'm not gonna change what I do. I'm still gonna play what I play, the riffs that I usually play that you guys are probably sick of hearing by now. And we're gonna use the Blackstar ID Core Stereo 40 Watt Combo. All the tones that you'll be hearing will be from just this guitar straight in. There is an SM57 there going straight into the camera. Let's get on with it. Let's check out this guitar. <laughs> Thank you. 
my honest opinion and conclusion on this guitar is that it is a really, really nice guitar. It's well made, surprisingly well made, actually. This thing retails at 169 and it comes in in this thing. So it comes with a carry case. Uh, in my opinion, some of the guitar brands out there, if not all of them, should take a leaf out of Blackstar's book because when you spend 1200 even more sometimes on a guitar, it just arrives in a cardboard box, you know, and you don't even get a case with it. So for 169 if Blackstar can put a damn case on with their guitar, then every brand should be doing the same, in my opinion. I really enjoyed playing the guitar. It's quite a lot of fun. And yeah, if I went to say like a caravan holiday, I would throw this thing in the boot. Just if I fancied playing a bit of guitar, you know, you could even write a song, uh, riff out, whatever, on this guitar, and it would be absolutely fine. Like I said, it does hold its tuning. Whoops, it does hold its tuning in standard tuning, which it's set up for and what, you know, the string gauge and everything suits very, very well, better than any other short scale travel guitars that I've tried in the past. When I dropped it down to D, I should have changed the lower string there to a thicker gauge, but I just wanted to treat it the same way that I treat all guitars that come to the channel. You know, quite often I just drop to drop D and leave the standard string gauge on. Anyhow, what did you think, guys? What do you think to this guitar? And what do you think about Blackstar giving you a case with this guitar? It's not just a average case either. It's a pretty good quality thick padded case that you get with that with a neck brace in there as well that sits behind the neck. Um, so yeah, I think other guitar brands should be giving us cases when we're shelling out over a thousand pounds. What do you guys think of this guitar and what do you guys think of the guitar coming with a case? Do you think other brands should take a leaf out of Blackstar's book? Thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe. I have tons more gear coming to the channel this year and I can't wait to get stuck in. See you soon.